The upcoming Audi Works team, currently Sauber, announced to open a UK office already this year. And I'm gonna tell you why this might be great news for you. Eight of the current 10 F1 teams have a base in the UK. McLaren and Woking, Mercedes engines in Brixworth and chassis in Brackley, Red Bull and Milton Keynes, Aston Martin and Silverstone, Alpine and Enstone, Williams and Grove. Racing Bolts just moved their development from Italy to Milton Keynes to benefit from the Red Bull facilities. And Haas builds their cars in Banbury. So there are only two teams who are not in the UK, Ferrari and Sauber. What is the advantage in the UK? First of all, the English language, easier bureaucracy and low salaries. That is good because F1 introduced a budget cap, so if teams spend less on salaries, they have more money to develop the car. And because so many teams are in the UK, in the same area, also suppliers are around the corner and universities offer motorsport courses to prepare young talents. And of course, if students are already in the UK, they apply at UK-based teams first. Check out my other video where I describe your way to F1. Ferrari has such a great image that people are still willing to move to Italy, although they don't know the language, although it might be a big change for their families. And Italy has great universities as well. The result is that many good aerodynamicists nowadays come from Italy. But even Ferrari opened a development center in the UK in the past when they wanted to hire star designer John Barnard who didn't want to move to Italy. Ferrari closed it later again because the trouble is always the communication between departments. It's always best to produce the whole car in the same location, so you can just walk over and talk to the other departments. So now Audi bought the Sauber F1 team. It will become the Audi Works team next year and of course they want to do well. But traditionally it has always been a problem for Sauber to get good engineers to Switzerland. Hinville, where Sauber headquarters is based, is a small town with 12,000 inhabitants 30 kilometers south of Zürich. Company language is English, but everything around is German. Costs of living in Switzerland are a lot higher than in the UK and hence salaries are a lot higher as well. With a budget cap that means that Audi would always have a disadvantage in terms of investments. So there's even a compensation factor to help Audi with that so they can spend more. But still, it's hard to get young talents and also experienced engineers, probably with family, to Switzerland. And so Sauber announced to open a UK development center this summer already. This office shouldn't replace the Hinville office, but support it. After all, the Hinville headquarters doesn't have much more space for new joiners anyway, and they would have to invest in new buildings. So they now decide to do that in the UK. Possibly in Milton Keynes, Silverstone or Beaster. So right where all the other teams are based. And that is great news for you. It means that until the end of the year, the Sauber F1 team wants to grow from 600 people to 900. So they will be looking for 300 engineers in the UK, in the Motorsport Valley, and you could be one of them. In addition to that, the Cadillac team opened an office in Silverstone just next to Aston Martin and is also looking for hundreds of people until the end of the year. A motorsport course in the UK is very expensive now after Brexit, but if you want to start a career in F1, check out my top rated training courses which teach you exactly what F1 teams expect of you with the links below. So this could be your year. And what do you think about Sauber's decision? Is it the right way to get good engineers? Or will the communication between their UK and Swiss office be a problem like for other teams in the past? Let me know in the comments below and see you at the next video.